Hello, it's Dave Keys, and here is uh, <clears throat> a website in Divi, and I use CSS a lot because generally those uh, extended CSS little snippets in the back of the um, interface for each particular module, I've never had a lot of luck getting those to do what I want, so I just use the CSS um, in the theme options okay and all I write it all at once over there so here's my header and it's got two pictures that are different heights and that makes the thing go longer shorter longer shorter and drives you nuts so you want to control the height and in my case I wanted the pictures to use the cover attribute or whatever it's called and centered so some of that's handled right in the interface just or where you want your images in the sliders and uh, also here's a little extra where we've got some images in the um, <clears throat> blurbs and they're round and they have some shadow as well as this slider has a drop shadow and uh, these have a, um, a border so I'll throw these into the write-up as well okay so it's still being worked on and let's go to code I swear it was right here okay there it is okay so here is Divi and here is our code custom CSS and so what I do is I, I usually start with a, um, naming something that I'm going to work on. And we're looking at the slider, and I named it Top Slider. So let's take a look at that. So here's the home page that we, we've been looking at. Here's the slider. full width slider and oh this is not it I should have prepared maybe I use full element here yeah here it is so here's the idea of the entire module top slider okay so you can do this in either that the, the parent module or the child just you got to follow it down and and you can do that by looking at your site and inspecting it and just finding out exactly what you're trying to work on if anything's different than what I'm showing you you can always use inspector I mean Chrome but most browsers have something that's similar to inspect your elements um, and you can see this the uh, slider changing as the slides change so you can see I've got the ID right here in my div, which is that parent element top slider. And then you can see the the modules changing as the slides change. And that gives you an indication what you're looking at. Uh, and this is an ET underscore PB underscore slider. If I remember correctly. Let's go back to the code. and take a look at that so here's my top slider which I set my bottom margin open a little bit so I pushed it out to 33 pixels so that I could put it in a box shadow otherwise you can't see it because the next element covers it so I push out the margin a little bit and then I put in a box shadow and here's my height. So I got a minimum height of 980px. Okay. And then I also positioned it above any other elements that follow it just to keep that shadow on top. That's not really necessary. And then the top slider space dot etbb slide. That that individual slide element that's under top slider. So you got top slider as the ID with a pound sign and then a space and then ETPB slide. So now all slides with that designator as a class under top slider, anything with the dots a class, a pound sign is an ID. 
So the class is where I have background size cover, which makes sure my image is full, on whether it's larger or smaller, and then minimum height, 980px. Okay, so I'm just, I could put in a max height if I think I have anything that's going to be taller than that. So I'm creating a, like a full page uh, image by setting this height at 980 or close to full page depending on the size of my screen. This screen is particularly large, which is why you saw more. Um, so basically I'm setting minimum heights. If I thought I was going to have a... Uh, an image that might be more than 980px high, then I could set also a max height 980px and make sure nothing exceeds that height because it will default to a taller height if you don't set the max if you have a larger picture and that's what we're trying to avoid so I'll just leave this code in here like this. And then the home blurbs that were round here <coughs> excuse me, here is um. Um, where I position them a little bit and I put in this top margin to push the blurbs up because I pushed them down with this 33 pixel um, shadow and margin bottom so now I wanted them to be a little higher so I put a top margin minus 63 px to get that blurb section a little closer to my slider and then home blurbs space img where i'm controlling the image i'm putting the attributes right on the image itself so here's my border i'm using the ridge attribute and then the box shadow um, to give it the drop shadow and then border dash radius at 50 percent okay that gives a 50 percent ratio curve to each of the four corners of the square pictures making it a round circle. You can play with that number and see the effects that it has. Um, and that's really it. And oh yeah, uh, mobile devices, you want to create a media screen only to deal with mobile devices because that 980 is awfully long for a, um, a phone. So use mobile device code to set your parameters to something more appropriate for your mobile devices. I put it at 440 px like that to keep it at 440 and I'll just add this max height also 440 px that's it I'm gonna copy this code and drop it into the comments on the video this is Dave Keys hope this helps you guys that are using Divi and we'll see you in the funny papers bye